No. I thought that was going well. It was. Much, much better than the previous attempts. Chin up. Me. Previously on Control, Jesse, that's me, uh, became the director of the Federal Bureau of Control by wandering in, chatting to the janitor, going and picking up a gun uh, that had just been fired to kill the previous director, having the gun sort of just have a little natter in her ear, sweet nothings, did a weird thing on the astral plane, bingo bango, head of a Federal Bureau. I assume that's not how those candidates are normally chosen. Um, what else? Um, discovered what the hiss is, kind of. Discovered that there is a thing called the hiss and that it's bad. Killed some things infected by the hiss, including somebody I tried to save and failed to save. And uh, what else? Oh yes, there was also some lag on the gameplay because, um, well, there are always going to be teething issues, weren't there? Starting a new channel and starting an entire new series and getting the equipment to all talk to one another. Uh, it, something was going to go a bit wrong, but hopefully um, I fixed the problem now and hopefully it wasn't too terrible last time. Um, I did put a little warning at the very start of the video at least. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, please forgive, mea culpa, let's get on with uh, sorting things out in the Bureau. As you'll remember, we just claimed this control point, and now we need to proceed through the communications depot. Um, we can do so. We don't. Do we want to go to a shelter? Is there a shelter we can go to? Do they contain nice things? Let's. We'll, we'll leave that. Oh yeah, completely forgot to mention. Uh, gained the power to launch water coolers across the room. Pretty happy with that. But um, any road. Think. That's a mail sack. Please explode into letters. Hehehe. <laughs> uh, things sound quite mumbly and sinister over this way. Is that the way I actually want to go, or do I want to go upstairs? Upstairs. Let's try upstairs. Ah, yes. The blood, as I am quickly learning with control, will be your guide, as will the hapless floating employees. I'm really sorry. I can't save you. Hi, I'm the director, by the way. Tried to save one of your colleagues. Didn't end well. You don't want me to do that. Am I being shot at? Yes, I am. Great. Hi, Hiss Guard. How are you? What did you do with your week? I had a nice time. Can I have your healing bits, please? What are you? Clearance level? What? Whoopsie. Oh, I can pull up bits of the floor. That's useful. Oh, God. Where am I going to throw this now? Don't want to hurt anyone. That way's fine. Clearance level one. Thank you very much. Open assets. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't read up about the floppy disk last week. How rude of me. Um, it's an eight-inch diskette containing Soviet-era nuclear launch codes. Oh, that's how I'm able to... Um, how I'm able to lob things around. Did not realise that my telekinetic power was powered by a Soviet floppy disk. Ooh. You're listening to America Overnight, mystifying the airwaves for more than 29 years. All right. Ooh, what's this? Oh, okay. Somewhere along the line, things went weird. Oh, sure. Yeah. Who wrote this? Report to Dr. Darling. Eep. Wham! Right. Okay. Mail room. The shelter. Should we have a look? See if there's anything good in here. Yes, there is. Not a fan. Be some of that new wave that kids are listening to. More undefined reading. Delicious. Oop. 
Okay. Thanks a lot, Shelter. Let's pop that closed, shall we? Just in case. Well, well, if it isn't the mail room. And if it doesn't look like the mail room has had a catastrophic delivery of jam or possibly juice. Well, this is a set piece if ever I have seen one. Lovely ceiling, though. Uh-oh. Who the fuck are you? No, not a big fan. Oh, it's Tomasi. Hey, mate. Oh, sh oh, you're quick, aren't you? Ow! Oh, he can... He can bloody telekinesis, too. Bye! Okay. No, no kill, please. Oh, my God. This guy's ridiculous. Shit, shit, shit! Okay. Stick and move. Stick and move. Stick and move. Stick and move! Shit! Wow. So he's not messing around. Also, I'm fairly sure from that little mini cutscene we got there that he is the guy um, that we saw just for a split second before the old director shot himself. I think his face looks similar anyway. You lose 10% of your source every time you die. What does that mean? What's my source? Oh, shit. Oh, these desks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but these desks are flimsy. I don't, I'm not saying I am going to blow the entire bureau budget on new desks as like my first act as director, but it's tempting. Those are flimsy. Okay, well, I guess... Yep. Guess we're going back in. Here he comes. Is it the same dude? That looks like the same guy to me. Anyway, right. How are we doing this? Okay. So, I have suspicions. My suspicions are... Him throwing stuff is bad? Throwing it at him seems to put him off? Ah! There you go. He's vulnerable. Ow, oh, shit. And he's sending in guards? Are you serious? Uh, do not kill, please. Fuck! Okay. So he is not vulnerable to telekinetic attacks when he's just flying around doing his thing, but when he's gearing up for one, he can be hit, which will presumably help me not get beamed by the telekinetic attacks. We're now 20% down of our source, whatever that means, because we've died twice. And I, for the life of me, don't know what it means. But, um, we're just going to roll with it. I don't want to save scam or anything. But, um, maybe we'll just have this already equipped as he pops through. Can we, will it be removed, though, by the cutscene? Okay, right. We're just going to try and get ready for him. Oh, that was interesting. There we go. Hit him. Got the bastard. Ow, shit, Hawk. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, now. Ah, oh, shit. No! Come on, health please. Fuck! So I think the main problem so far is that we've been hitting the face a lot with projectiles. And looking around this room, it seems like we're not short on an alcove to duck into for cover. So staying in the open bad, not being in direct line of massive projectile attacks, good. Let's apply these principles as we try once again to defeat this Cirque du Soleil looking prick. I know that isn't a reference that they can fly now, that isn't a Last Jedi reference, but it really feels like one, doesn't it? They can fly now? They can fly now! Okay, I hit him. Great. And he's not hit me yet. 
Oh, yes, please. Did somebody order cheese? Oh. Ah, shit! Okay, right, got cocky there, didn't I? Didn't have any order cheese. Okay, right. We want this guy to bite the bullet, as it were, so we can harvest his delicious health. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, good, good, good enough. We're learning, aren't we? Okay, he just fired two projectiles, so let's duck back out to get the thing. Lovely. Hit him a couple of times. Ow! Shit! Yes, 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 yes. Right there. There we go, there we go. Health, health, health. Need some more of that, to be perfectly honest with you. Run. Shit! Okay, that's the strat though. There we go. That's that's how we do this. They can fly now. They can fly now? They can fly now. Worst line of that film. Like that could have been such a cool moment. Like, oh no, stormtroopers have leveled up. That's terrifying. But instead, they can fly now. Blot a Run! <laughs> You didn't count on surprisingly sturdy concrete pillars, did you, Tomasi? Ow. And I did not count on your accuracy and speed. Can I have a guard, please? I would like some health. Shit! Where are they? Where are your guards at? Excuse me. Whoa, that did a chunk, didn't it? To be fair, I'd have dodged out of the way if I tried to get someone tried to shoot me in the penis. Okay, great. So that's there if we need it. Yep, that didn't work. Okay. Projectile the second coming in. God, that indicator's handy, isn't it? Run, run, run! Oh, there's an up. There's an up, so there is. Well, that's mm, less good for cover, but I'm willing to give it a go. Kiss my Tomasi! <laughs> okay, health pips, health pips. Okay, we're gonna wait. That's one. That's two. Health time. Back in we go. Oh shit! Oh tits! In case anyone hasn't been paying attention, I think uh, the concept of this being a family-friendly channel sort of went out the window. But you can blame Tomasi for that one, Teebs. Ow! Shit off! No! I thought that was going well. It was. Much, much better than the previous attempts. Chin up. Me. Run! more like it. Where are you? Ow! Okay, no, don't sweat it, don't sweat it. There we go. You had health, you had health. You're about to get some more. Come here. Oh, you pecker. <laughs> pecker? Good, fine, fine. Ah, 
Would you ever piss off? Stick and move, stick and move, stick and move, stick and move. There we go. That's better. We're getting there. We're getting there. He is a wily one, isn't he? Come on, you little scamp. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Get cocky now. Oh. 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 Well, that's just... Boo. Oh, you little... I have a feeling he'll be back. I, no, yeah, no shit. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mail room. Always like... I really like these lamps. We used to have one, but then it broke. Just like that one. Ah. Oh. Well, that was satisfying in its own way, even though he got away. It's kind of nice to um, figure him out and then put that theory into practice. Anyway, right. Beyond the mailroom, A. Eh? Well, that's where he disappeared. Alberto Tomasi, mm. head of comms. Head of comms, eh? Ooh, hiss ranger. I didn't realise I was getting um, stuff on. Ah, he was a hiss elevated. It turns out, is that who he is? Tomasi's ID. Tomasi Alberto. Oh, wow. This game takes place a lot later than I thought. Look at that. Issue date, 2016th. Expiry date, 2019. 2016th? Hmm. Wow. I fully assumed this was set in, like, I don't know, got him. 80s or something. Oh. All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Hmm. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds an alternate item would show up inside a U.S. embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? Well, if we weren't already convinced that Tomasi is a bit of a jerk, there's all the proof you need. Kind of glib about people uh, being altered in horrible ways there. <laughs> but summary. Sorry. <clears throat> it's probably Butte, isn't it? A spate of disappearances was traced to a home in the city of Butte, where bureau agents discovered a translocative light switch cord. Event response bureau agents arrived at the home of a local celebrity, what? Located at blank blank, which had been connected to a total of blank disappearances in the area. Agent, agents found no one inside. While searching a closet, an agent pulled the light switch cord and disappeared from view. Another agent was selected to pull the cord in order to replicate the event. You can't do QA with people. He disappeared as well, funnily enough. Both agents were discovered at the oldest house X days later, found in a sealed room by rangers exploring a new area of the house. 
The light switch cord in the Butte Holmes closet disappeared during this incident. That's some uh, fine detective work there, Bureau of Control. Just going to try and deliberately lose another man just to make sure that uh, the light cord can disappear, people. Oh, it can. And it's gone. What have we learned? Not much. I'm starting to think this bureau is not all, all it's cracked up to be, to be honest. Anyway, the hotline <laughs> chamber. Yes, please. Num num num. Personal launch efficiency. Hello, personal mods. Launch energy cost, minus 8%. Yes, I would like that, please. I also want a second mod slot, but we can't have anything, everything, I suppose. Cool. I absolutely love how the rooms, like, the areas show up like that. The first time I happened, it scared the crap out of me, but... <laughs> What's this now? Hotline security log. Who's been in here? Trench, Everett. Trench, Everett. Bishop. Carol Bishop. But we also had a Pope. A theme, perhaps? Interesting. Okay. Dr. Xavier? Oh. Ocean View Motel and Casino. Dream logic. The light switch cord. Ah, oh, shit. Door marked with a black pyramid. Look. I know I just spent a couple of minutes lambasting the Bureau for being dumb enough to make someone else pull the cord after somebody had already disappeared. And I know that reading that report, talking about it, and then pulling the cord makes me, if anything, dumber than them. But also, F. Okay. The law of three applies. So I'm guessing that if I'm going to fall, yep, fall to my death if I do that. Good. Good to know. See, this is bureau methodology. I'm fitting right in. Law of three applies. Click it, click it, click it. I assume. Pay attention to your surroundings. You will sustain lethal damage if you fall too far. Thanks, loading tip. Hi, welcome back to the light cord. Um, rule of three applies. Let's... Give it a little yank. One, two, three. <laughs> Have we been here before? No. I've stayed at a lot of roadside motels across the country on the road, on the run, under the radar. Okay. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. do love a motel at Remedy, don't they? Ooh. Lovely light, though. Bing! Hello? Anyone here? Take that as a no. Good coffee maker. I stayed in hotels that claim to be fancy that don't have anything that good. Wait, was there something more significant in there, or was it just a room? Whoa! Where's my gun gone? Where's my bloody gun? Just keep raising my hand for no reason. I pull this wans. Does that change anything? 
Change the lighting a little bit, it feels like. Well, it's still locked. So is this, presumably. Ping. <gasps> yes, it's unlocked a different room. Okay. But I can only pull the cord so many times before it returns me to the chamber. Let's try one more time. Yoink. Horrible PT vibes from this, quite frankly. But the room didn't change. It's 224 still. You're nuts. Ding. <laughs> you have to ring the bell. That's brilliant. Hello, whatever you are. A key. key has a black pyramid on Ominous. Let's go back to the Black Pyramid door, shall we? I love that you had to ring the bell. Good fun. Good fun. Yes, hello. Ah. Oh, that's me, is it? That's... There's nothing f f creepy about that. Oh. <laughs> Roll of three. Good chunk. Yes! Get that. Give me a walkway. Delicious. <laughs> Greetings, ominous telephone. Astral Plane Challenge. I'll be honest with you, every time one of these pops up, I think to myself, I'm not going to enjoy this because it reminds me of some of the more tedious bits of Destiny 2. But they're pretty uniformly great, it turns out. Although, what the fuck is that? Oh! Okay. Well, throwing a piece of rock at it didn't help. Oh, and I fall to my death. Not to my death, at least. Still, for the record, have not forgiven Remedy for that bit in Max Payne. With the trail of blood that goes through the Nightmare Baby's room. Um, one of the most infuriating bits of uh, gameplay I've ever experienced. Um, did it stop me playing it as a child? You could put me off for several weeks. It's just like, I can't get past this bit. Don't like it. Which is a shame, because it's one of my favourite games of all time, actually. I should play it through sometime on the channel. Anyway. More pressing... Ah! Fucking hell. Contact extra-dimensional entities. Didn't realise that the entities were trying to eat me. Oh god, with the circular, well, circular square bits of floor, so we can always run away. It's like it follows. Horrible. Horrible, so it is. But at least it's not platforming in a first-person space-age shooter that really shouldn't have platforming in it. Hey, Bungie. Thank you. In <laughs> In the hotline slash collectibles menu. Slightly fourth wall breaking. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any... Oh, that's now. darling. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is... Under the right conditions to other planes of existence... This is one of his presentations. That's amazing. That's great. A 
director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. Is that Sam Lake? Like, in the in those videos? I'm fairly sure it isn't, because we've seen the portraits. Oh, a little, little bit of... I have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. Yeah, okay. Um, but right. People react Sorry. strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Hmm. Um, I can just imagine that silhouette being the kind of thing Sam Lake does. It's like, put me in the game. Come on. I'll be the smoking dude. But then the portraits look nothing like him. But then the voice sounds familiar as well. Is it the same voice as did Max Payne? Surely not. Because Sam Lake didn't do that. He was just the face of Max Payne. I don't know. Either way. Oh, it's just the thing. Okay, let's go to the executive slash boardroom. More things to read! <laughs> Butt supplement. <laughs> I think we call that a suppository. Anyway, Butte. AWE-17. According to their testimony, the agents have been transported from the Butte home to a roadside motel named the Ocean View Motel and Casino and discovered a room key by performing a ritual. See file MOT-01. The key opened a door marked with an inverted black pyramid, which they only learned after a lengthy period of trial and error. Shady. After pulling another motel cord found inside this room, they were transported to the oldest house. The disappearances of the home's owner and the other locals of Butte have been attributed to the light switch cord. The Ocean View Motel is now known to have many doors and pathways. Excuse me. Since the occurrence, identical light switch cords to the one found in the Butte home have become, uh, begun appearing throughout the oldest house. At the time of writing, redacted light cords have been found in the oldest house, located in the redacted and redacted sectors. These all access the Ocean View Motel, though how exactly this link operates is redacted, but initial hypotheses centre on the Butte AWE as a redacted. See Dr. Darling presentation 24.3 for more details. Interesting. I wonder if that also includes correspondence. Where's the uh, travel costs? Desert Sun Inn. Okay. Not the same. Oh, wow. They stayed at a lot of different motels. Oh, okay. So maybe $313.60. No, that's still quite a lot. They're still almost half their budget on whiskey. Anyway, getting sidetracked. Let's go speak with Emily. The executive slash bold room. Well, there you go. We're back in my office, and one of the the walls has opened up. Bit of fun. Oh, and the body's gone. Nice of the cleaner to take the corpse, but not right my chair, but we won't hold it against them. And someone's left a file on my desk, but not cleaned up the blood. And, oh, someone's replaced my, um, replenished my uh, liquor cabinet after I got stuck in it. With some... Okay, those are either breadsticks, enormous cigarettes, or moderately sized cigars. I'll let you make your own minds up as to which ones they are. I could go for some Grissini right now, actually, so... Central Executive. Can I go in here now? I'm the director. Excuse me. Oh. Hello. Sorry, I'm just... I'm the director. Hi, I'm just not used to seeing people around here who aren't f f 
floating from the ceiling. Are you, um... Yeah, you seem well enough. That's good. Okay. Good. Good, good. I guess I'm just gonna... Just gonna nip to the boardroom then. Ah, thanks, everyone. Don't worry. My knees are very strong. I'm the director, by the way. Boardroom. Schwing. Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? Sorry. You made it. I'm glad. I like Pope a lot. Emily? Let's talk. Of course. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but... He's gone. He's gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training, in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. Thank you. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. Mm. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. Pope just ask us how. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. Interesting. Reminds me of the janitor in Bob's Burgers. I can't remember his name. Oh no. This looks bad. Yep. Ability points? Hello, the nearest... Right. Ability plants. We can talk some more to Pope. Which I wouldn't mind doing. What's this? Initial impressions. Yeah, I'll look at that later. All right. Can you hear Oops. That? Someone's singing. Where is it coming from? Probably the janitor. The hiss or tampering with itself. Singing. Agitating. Sounds like it's coming from the elevator. So we've hit the classic video game section whereby there's a bit we need to get to from the bit we're in, but we need to get to the maintenance bit and make sure the bit works before we can make the bit go. Classic. Gotta love it. Where's the elevator? Should be right here, right? Or is it down... Stairs? Somehow. Must be downstairs. 
Silly. Boing, don't mind me. Director coming through. Hello. There we go. Diamond world, meet me in the main denounce. <laughs> Ati, you can't just throw open an elevator door, talk to me like your Count Dracula uh, while I'm standing on a suspiciously The Shining patterned rug. That's not on. I don't know how the last director did things, but listen, I'm not Trench. Trench is gone. Thank you for picking up his body. I presume that was you, but you could have at least righted the chair and cleaned up the blood. That's all I'm saying. I guess... I guess we're going to the... The maintenance sector access corridor. Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. Yep. Yeah, well, all right, Jesse. Well, that's generous of you. <laughs> I used to have that Walkman. Or one almost exactly like it. That is weird. Yeesh. All right. Time to go see what he wants. The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Maybe it was Ati. It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is Ati guiding me too? I hope so, because I love him. Despite that little dramatic moment we just had with the elevator. Yep. No can access. Let's keep going then, I guess. Okay. Well, red means bad, but... For you, Ati, I'm willing to... The directorial to... override is right there, in the control room. How do we get there? Oh, we need to claim that space, don't we? Oh, cool! One, two, three, four, five, six. And they're the more elite dudes. Already doesn't sound great. Out here, let's be perfectly honest. Yeah. Just gonna grab me one of these. Hello. <laughs> oh shit. Aha. That was satisfying. Health, please. Thank you. Oh, shit. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, well, I'll be cleansing this control point if you don't mind. Nice. It's cool watching this happen when the building kind of floats and goes back to normal, but not gonna lie, kind of prefer the architecture the other way. I mean, exposed pipe is a look, I guess, but just kind of liked it how it was, you know? Oh shit. Where are you? Where'd you go? You're up there. Womp! Ah, oh, shit. That did not work quite how I wanted it to. Honestly, flitting back and forth between the the uh, service weapon and the power I keep forgetting his name is uh, pretty great I feel powerful in this but I don't feel like I'm completely cakewalking it like you need to keep moving otherwise things go south pretty quick 
Ritual impulse, eh? What are all of these things? Oh, wait a minute. Didn't it say that I could... At the ne nearest control point... Do some leveling up? Didn't we just claim one? Or was that slightly different? Yeah, we'll find out. What's down that way? Something bad. Interesting. A different mission. Um, sure. I'll investigate the strange light in the break room. Artie? Are you microwaving fish? Ah, You see, they tempt you in. They tempt you in with the little coolers of, pff, of nice bits. And then suddenly it's, ooh, go chase a merry-go-round. Cleanse the object of power, why don't you? Oh, this place makes me nauseous. Uh. Oh god. An object of power. Yep. How do you think it got down here? Probably fell through the floor trying to open the sodding crate. A carousel horse. Mr. Goiter! So Very good question, Jesse. Why is kid stuff always so creepy? Give me this. I can dodge. Oh, yes, please. Oh. The horse slash choo-choo. I love the way the board speaks. I really do. Oh, shit. Hmm. Ah, should have run first and then dodged. Lovely. Shit. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, Christ. Air evade. Oh, that's good. So, oh, no. Never mind. Okay, so we jump, then we, yeah, then we evade. Good, good, good. We jump, then we evade. Fuck, it's close. Oh, come on, really? Fuck. Oh, shit. Ah. Oh. Can you evade more than once? Oh shit! Okay. Ah! Oh, oh shit! <sighs> Chill. Just take a minute. Honestly. Fuck. I'm too late on that one. Oh shit, not again. Great. Finally. Gold enemies are immune. 
Fuck. Shit. Screw that. You and the horse are now bound slash friends for life. Oh. Sweet. Thanks, astral plane thing. Time to do some air evading. But I'm really glad I... I was so close to saying, nah, I'll leave that because I want to stay on the main path. Very glad. We went after the merry-go-round horse. Ah, merry chase. I get it now. What? 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 Did I just die? Oh, no. Okay, fine. Now I can open the crate. Okay, good. Threshold remnant. Party! Party? I didn't realise that I've been breaking these every time I pop them off. That is rude, quite frankly. Hey, buddy. Okay, question. Does RT have a poster of himself on the door to his own office? Because if so, I'm here for it. Don't get me wrong. I just want to make sure... Yes, okay. want to make sure that's just wanted to make sure that's what we were dealing with. Hey, buddy. Well done. Thank you. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yippee, Sadana. Yippee. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted, otherwise I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours Chunk. Happy, yep. Something tells me it's gonna be more than that. Give me, give me a squeegee. Uh, Let's get going. Uh, 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 you think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. I'm Agnes Mumperkele Suora. This house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the uh, power generators of a uh, power plant, Berkele. And the pensioner inside is starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up. And we all disappear like a fart in Sahara. Trying my best to keep up with this. Same. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. Oh, don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. Doubt. You'll catch the end of the thread before I go to my vacation. The work's on the task board here. You can do later, when you have time. Vacation? Right. Yes. I was gonna cancel my holiday or seeds gonna rattle. But don't worry at all. You'll take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. Ati is my favourite. I love him. I absolutely adore him. He's incredible. What the... F 
I'm genuinely a little bit speechless at how brilliant that was. I love him. He's. I mean, just look at him there, bopping away. Doesn't even have his headphones in right now. That's just his go-to animation. It's just what he does. And his shirt's so well coordinated with his mop. You know what, Atty? You said it. You said it better and more creepily than I could. I think it is time for a Kaffir break. Um, it's time for a whole week's break, actually, because this brings us to the end of the second episode of uh, of Control here on Press Any Kiadini. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, um, there's a growing number on the channel. We've got uh, streams past and uh, episodes of Press Any Kiadini past, obviously, for you to enjoy. And... Um, yeah, streams and episodes future for you to look forward to um so let's see it's saturday now so we'll be back on monday we'll be doing some painting and then uh catch me again on thursday when we'll be streaming something haven't decided yet but um yeah uh hopefully you enjoyed this video if you're not already subscribed um make sure you are uh you can check out more of my stuff on patreon.com forward slash johnny chiadini if you are so inclined but uh either way thank you very much for watching i genuinely cannot wait to see where control takes us next, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.